Good morning, this is Dr. Bill Wild again with another video here that we want to talk about fused teeth or teeth that are just grown into each other and you can't separate them at all. I mean, they're just part of the other tooth. And uh, this happens not too frequently, but uh, every once in a while it does. So you have to kind of balance this out with other teeth, like extracting and not extracting, or trimming them down, or different things you do. So we've got a nice little young lady here with a, a couple of fused teeth, and I want to go over that and show that to you. Uh, it's an interesting thing. It happens in orthodontics. Uh, she's an oriental uh, young lady and a very nice one. And she's got rather large teeth and she's got an impacted or a crossbite of the lateral of the upper left side of the mouth and also uh, one that's routed out on the right, the upper right side of the mouth. And that's uh, problems that you run into every now and then. Now, <coughs> excuse me, the two cuspid teeth down here are unusually large and the lateral teeth are missing. So we're assuming that the lateral teeth joined in with the cuspid teeth in the game a part of that cuspid which made a huge cuspid too. And so to balance that out we had to get rid of something down below, I mean up above, so we take out the first bicuspids up here and line these teeth all up and line this up on the bottom and we may have to, have to trim that a little bit uh, in case it's kind of like taking an extraction to take a fuse to and just trim it slightly. Okay, let's go on with this. So here are the two first bicuspids. We will send the, her in to get them removed. And we're going to take these out here, these bicuspids out. We'll back this up some, line this all up in here, and get these teeth together, they'll come down back and close this space here. And, we, and the fused teeth we got on the bottom, we'll let them serve as just sep separate teeth, as if we took the laterals out and didn't completely do it. And when you look on the bottom, the laterals, the cuspids are very wide. These lateral, the central teeth, right here are narrow and so the lateral is fused in with this cuspid tooth in this area and we put a block in here to open the bite just different ways you come up with it, how to use those and how to strip them if necessary to where you can make it work out so here we close this space up above where we took the bicuspids out, you can see up here and down on the bottom, we're not taking anything out at all. We just let this lateral that's gone there be the tooth that's missing. And so in this particular case, it, it just worked out almost perfect. So here's this young lady. We put a block in here to jump this spike, you see. And while we had this block over here, these teeth came in contact and we jumped the uh, lateral over the bite. And so here we are, everything lined up above except we're going to have to uh, close this over here. So we'll bring these up from the back and do some of it. The midline is like this, so we'll pull it over too. So we'll close part of this space with this portion and part of it with this on the uh, back side there. 
And these are things you just have to figure out a way to work around whatever problem is presented there. Now these fuse teeth worked out great. So we took the fuse teeth and then used them as one tooth and we lined all this up in here. We, we put this block on and then these teeth opened up a gap and these came together while we had this, uh, while we were bringing through the the, um, the cross by two in there. So here we finished out the case. The mid line is just dead center. And this is the lateral, and here's this cuspid and lateral, median here, and there's no other teeth out back here, and we put the bicuspid right behind here is what we sacrificed to balance this and this down here in the anterior part of the mouth. And that worked out uh, beautifully well. And you can measure this if you want to and figure it all out. Or you can just, after a while, you get where you can look at the case and tell just about exactly where the space is going to end up. So this is a, a wonderful alley, a way to get out of a problem that somebody has. They come in where you take advantage of a used to, and this is a big wide cuspid is what why. And the lateral in there we consider it being gone. And so the worked out good with the extraction of one for the upper and first bite. Thank you for watching this. I'm gonna close that space there we get through here. And this is ninety one. And we just about get that together. And the fused teeth worked out right. I mean it comes in here where you the cuspid is serving as a lateral and as a cuspid. So this is the cross bite. We had to put the block over here to open this up to jump that. And while this was open over here, these teeth grew together. That's a, another remarkable thing about the, the mouth. The teeth will move even to nearly a half inch. If you open a gap over here, these teeth on this side over here will actually close together in about two to three months. So that'll do that. So here we are in a retainer. And this is the way it looks. This is that impacted uh, cross by tooth. We had to put the block over here to jump this bite. And when we did, these teeth were together on this side. So here we look at the way it's in a class one fitting together there. And so we are actually pushing innovative ways that it's either infused to line up right in here. And Hardly anybody that knows this young lady would know that that's a, a fused, both those lower cuspids are fused together. And this is uh, cephalometric stuff on it. And there's where we took the bias out. We may have trimmed a little of this, I thought I might, but I don't know the more worked on it, I think I took less of that tooth than I thought I did. So here we are. We open this up while we jump this cross by and these teeth are in contact and these are not. Where the teeth will move a lot more than you think they will. Now we've got room for wisdom teeth to come in. You put this separators in here, I push this back, 
I mean, we took them out. I don't remember. Let me see what we did here. Pushed it back some. All right, we went ahead and kept the lower wisdom teeth up to this point. And that, I think she ended up keeping those teeth. So thanks for watching. The upper wisdom tooth won't have any problem. It'll come on down into this spot right there on both sides. So thanks for watching, and I hope you'll uh, join our group. I'm going to close out here, and we'll finish this up. Thank you very much.